In this video, we'll be going through several drills using only center, center low, and center high. In this first shot, the goal is to pocket the object ball and follow the cue ball into the pocket. Start from cue ball location one, and as you improve, move the cue ball farther away. If the cue ball is missing the pocket, keep track of which direction the cue ball is heading in after it strikes the object ball. If it's heading in this direction, that means you're sending the object ball into this side of the corner pocket. Take a bit more time when you're aiming the object ball to send it into the middle of the pocket. You can also place the object ball close to the cue ball and still try to follow the cue ball into the pocket. If your cue ball isn't moving too far forward after striking the object ball, that means you're not striking high enough on the cue ball. When shooting this drill, you don't need power. This drill is all about hitting the sweet spot on the cue ball. In this drill, we're going to pocket the object ball and follow the cue ball off the side rail into our target area. We need to make sure the cue ball doesn't strike either of the two pull balls on the cushion. This is the same type of shot. Really focus in on creating just the right angle in the object ball that will take the cue ball toward the target area on the side rail. If the cue ball isn't striking the target on the side rail, that either means you're not using high action, which is maximum high, or you're not taking enough time to create the proper angle on the object ball. For instance, in this game, Jason Shaw has ball in hand and he needs to strike a target on the side rail using high action. Watch how he takes his time when lining up the shot. Being off even an eighth of an inch on your angle to the object ball will drastically alter the cue ball's path. So really take your time when lining up the shot. In this drill, we're going to pocket the object ball into the side pocket and use high action to follow the cue ball into each ball along the cushion. We'll start with the first ball closest to the side pocket and work our way down the rail. As we strike each ball, we'll remove them from the cushion. If we don't strike the intended ball, then we have to set all the balls up again and start over. The goal is to get through the entire drill without a miss. Once again, take your time when lining up the angle to the object ball. If you shoot too quickly before you lock in your angle, it's easy to miss the target ball. This is the same type of drill, except this time we'll be sending the cue ball to the side rail after pocketing the ball into the corner. This is the same type of drill, except this time we'll be sending the cue ball to the side rail after pocketing the object ball into the corner pocket. Once again, try to complete the entire drill without a miss. It may take a while before you can successfully complete the drill. For some players, it may take weeks or months depending on your skill level. If you're a lower skilled player, then try to strike the first ball three times in a row, or even twice in a row, before moving on. In this drill, we'll be using high action to pocket the object ball in the side pocket and land in our target area for position on the eight ball. When you try the shot, make sure you find a target on the side rail to send the cue ball toward. Take your time when creating the angle on the object ball. Challenge yourself by moving the object ball to different locations.
In this drill, we're gonna shoot the balls in order. We'll pocket the first ball in the side pocket using high action to send the cue ball off the side rail and into our first target area. We'll then pocket the second ball and stun the cue ball over to our second target area by the side rail. When you shoot shots like this, you can use a piece of paper to mark your target area. Or if you have the ICA training system, then it's fairly easy to create target areas. You can also email the people at ICA Training and they can update your system with these drills. Challenge yourself by running this pattern two or three times in a row. In this drill, the goal is to pocket the object ball and land in the target area. Start with the cue ball close to the object ball and as you improve, start moving the cue ball farther away. When you first begin the drill, you can use two pull balls to act as a target. So the goal is to send the cue ball into either ball. In this drill, we're gonna stun the cue ball off the side rail and end rail and land in our target area. When performing this drill, really lock in on where you need to strike the first rail. If your cue ball is striking the cushion on the other side of the pocket, then you're striking the cue ball with too much low spin. In this drill, we'll be sending the cue ball over to the side rail, landing in the target area for shape on the eight ball. Start with the cue ball close to the object ball. Then as you improve, begin moving it farther away. When the cue ball is farther away, the shot becomes very speed sensitive. Try to lock in the speed first and figure out where you need to strike the cue ball. Now we've moved the target area further down the rail. If your cue ball is landing in an area above this target area, then keep the speed the same and strike slightly higher on the cue ball. In this drill, we'll be pocketing the object ball and landing in our target area between both rows of balls. The goal is to land as close to the cushion as possible without striking any of the pull balls. Move the target area to different locations on the end row. These types of position shots take practice to develop a feel for what speed and spin you'll need on each shot. In this drill, we'll be sending the cue ball off the side rail and into our target area along the end rail. On this shot, you can see that the tangent line heads toward the side pocket, which means the cue ball will need a small amount of roll on it when it strikes the object ball. Now the target area is near the corner pocket on the end rail. So the cue ball will need a little more roll on it when it strikes the object ball. In this drill, we'll be pocketing the object ball and sending the cue ball toward the first target ball. The goal is to strike all three target balls without a miss. If you do miss one of the target balls, set them back up and start over. You can also try to send the cue ball toward one of the target balls until you become consistent at it, then move on to the next target ball. This is a similar drill, but this time you'll be landing the cue ball into the target area for shape on the object ball. As you improve in this drill, start moving the target area to different locations.
In this drill, we'll be pocketing the object ball and sending the cue ball around the eight ball. The goal is to keep the cue ball from crossing the half table line. As you improve at the first eight ball's position, move it to the second location. When the eight ball is at the third location, try to keep the cue ball from crossing this line. At the final eight ball location, Keep the cue ball from crossing this line. In this drill, we're going to pack the object ball and send the cue ball toward the eight ball. When you first try this drill, you can land anywhere along the path toward the eight ball. Once you're comfortable with this drill, try to land the cue ball into the target area. Now we've moved the 8 ball so the cue ball will need a small amount of low spin on it when it strikes the object ball. In this drill, we'll be sending the cue ball around the 8 ball. When you first try this drill, the goal is to send the cue ball around the 8 ball. As you improve, try to land the cue ball into the target area. As you improve in this drill, move the 8 ball to the second location. Also challenge yourself by moving the cue ball farther away. As with any stun shot, the more distance there is between the cue ball and object ball, the more difficult it is to control the exact path and speed of the cue ball. As the cue ball gets to the last position area, it becomes very difficult to land the cue ball into a specific target area, since we're not using side spin. So the goal from this distance is to send the cue ball around the eight ball while keeping the cue ball in this quarter of the table. In this drill, we'll be pocketing the object ball and landing in the target area. As you improve, move the cue ball farther away. When the cue ball gets to the third and fourth position, it may help to increase the target area slightly. At this distance, both speed and spin have to really be in sync. This is definitely a shot that will test your cue ball control. This is similar to a previous drill where we sent the cue ball off the side rail and toward the end rail. The goal is to land in the target area near the middle diamond. Challenge yourself by moving the cue ball to different locations. In this example, we'll be sending the cue ball off the side rail near the second diamond, landing in our target area. As you improve, try moving the target area and practice sending the cue ball directly toward this area.